Okay, uh, welcome back. This is M-Dog. And this should be a fun ep episode, as long as I don't get caught out for work too quick. Oh, that tinch order is kind of interesting, huh? But it's the middle of the night. We should just... Um, Let's just put our rods in here while we purchase our new rig. Um, what size hook do we have on here? 12, that's fine. So we're just going to put two out here because we're about to purchase a third one that will be replacing our... Um, our small rig, which means we're going to be able to much aggressively, more aggressively engage at Oldberg now, I think. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and disassemble this guy, and let's take that off. So what it's going to be now is the Asteria is going to be in our second slot the comma comfort in our third slot and uh, we have just enough silver to purchase the new rig oh i need to be watching here oh this is going to be a short episode guys it's actually going to be a really short episode uh because the server's about to come down <laughs> i'm just realizing i guess i'll have to play some uh, escape from tarkov tonight all right so this is what we're getting guys uh, let me just point out here if you're new, if you're leveling sort of at a similar pace as what I'm doing in this video series, I don't necessarily recommend that this is your move. I'm not saying you can't do this. I mean, it's it's fine. I mean, I'm doing it. It's my first like upgrade to that third tier. This is the real we're buying here at Mosquito, at least 415 silver, right? However, um, if I was you, and the important thing here is to notice this goes up to 6.5 kilos, right? Max drive, 6.5, 195 spool. Uh, if I was you, I would save some silver, 345. You get uh, a whole nother kilo of max drive, uh, max drag, sorry. You're at 207 meters. So you've got a bigger spool than this one does. And you're talking about 345 silver instead of 415 silver. So, I mean, that's a significant, that's 70 silver difference. I just think the, the for this level, sort of what we're coming up to, I think the Adriatic of 5,000 is a really fine reel. I, I really do. Uh, it may even be the second one we get here, but it may not. We may save up for something else extravagant, just for funsies, right? Um, but... You know what? I, I want to go ahead and get this because it comes with the Kama Fantasia, another feeder rod that I've never used. This looks like a fun re rod. And uh, I want to try the Sputnik Element Pro. And, and I'll let you know what I think as we go. So let's go ahead and get this sucker. And um, I like how you unpack these suckers too. Now you can't return it. And um, now let's go ahead and equip it here. And let's take a look at this this bad boy. Um, yeah, very excited. And so, do we have any silver left? Six silver. Um, we do need a feeder leader on here. So I guess we'll take one of the leaders off the other guy and put it on here. Um, We'll see if they're in stock because one thing to notice here is we're overloading. One of the things with having a little bit more high quality reel is we are going to aggressively overload it. We're going 10.5 line. Okay. And um, we do need to get nicer line. We need to get thicker. So it's got more on the reel. We're getting 10.5 line. That means we need to get a leader that's right at 10 to take full advantage of the strength right so here's the feeder leaders we probably want to go fluorocarbon if possible and um, right here 10 kilo this is perfect seven and a half silver this is what we want right so right now we want to have the silver to purchase 
that leader and then also the silver to travel to old old uh old berg so we're at least set up for the next time we can we can do this i'm kind of bummed out that the server's about to go down i, I just i didn't put two and two together i had seen that earlier today but i forgot that it was happening so soon that's a nice white bream that'll that'll help us And, um, yeah, my numbers are messed up now. I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to get this need to get this third rod down so we can look at it. We're probably going to have to catch a couple fish here at least. Uh, I don't think there's really any orders we're going to be able to fill right here, but catch a bream or two, a couple of nice whites, and uh, should give us enough silver to do what we want to do. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this 5.4 fluorocarbon off and go back to the 5 mono just until we can purchase the new one but here at mosquito we're not going to notice that much of a difference between the fluorocarbon and the mono reel uh, uh leader i don't think all right let's pull this new new one out let's um throw some nice ground bait in there and uh we'll put on the 5.4 fluorocarbon leader we can keep the eight hook on and worm just seems to work really good in this spot, so we'll keep worm on there as well. Let's keep, clip it at 20. And let's see if we can catch a fish on our new rig here. So, and let's see what they all look like. Uh, you know what, we didn't change the, now we have another option. We can go R all the way up to 56 grams. So if we do try to go for common carp or something, we can stiffen it up a little bit. Wow, guys, we almost just snapped that. This is probably a bream. It's probably a nice bream, and I almost just snapped the line. Well, if this is a decent fish, we're going to be pretty close to hitting 14 here as well. So a lot of exciting things. I think that's going to be a bream is what it feels like, yeah. So that's some decent silver there, like three or four silver just for that one fish, right? And it's a nice fish. It's going to hit level 14 now. Let's throw back up, back in there, although we may have enough money to do what we want to do. We'll see. So let's see what these guys look like all sitting here near, near each other. It's our first white reel. It looks pretty sharp. I like the look of the new uh, the new feeder rod as well. It's the FD 390. This is the one that's um, 3.9 meters long, a little little longer rod. It goes up to 14.5 kilos. Seems like a nice nice feeder. Seems like a nice feeder. Roach, tench, crucian garbles. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what we've got so far. Yeah, it's 13 silver. I'm pretty sure we can, um, we'll buy the leader first and then we'll look at travel cost. I think we're good to go. Feeder leaders, fluorocarbon, 10 kilo. That's exactly what we want. Um, there's a couple other things I wouldn't mind buying while we're here because it's a little cheaper here than Old Berg, but we're also running out of time before the server goes down. Maybe we can get to Old Berg just in time to throw in at that uh, tench spot real quick. See if we can catch a tench or two right before the server shuts down. Ooh. All right, there's a white bream. all the green tips on all right so wh wh where are we on skills here we've got two points available we could get a third point in uh, ground bait I think the other thing that I would consider doing here is uh, putting a six point in fishing with a feeder rod and putting a second point in classic hair rig but but we'll see we've got some time to think about it we don't have to rush on that 
I don't think we've caught a fish yet on this rig, have we? It's possible there's just a fish sitting there, though. Yeah. No, there's not. I was thinking about it. How firm of a quiver tip? It's only 28 grams. It's not too firm. We got the smalls coming out right now. Uh, right down here on the beach, casting towards this five meter hole, I was actually catching as good, if not better, white bream down there um, earlier. So if you're going for the whites, you might try that spot as well. All right, didn't we get the new leader? Yeah, so now we can put fluorocarbon back on the front leader as well. Let's get, I mean, if this fish gets on pretty quick, we'll catch it, but then let's, let's head on. If we want to get a little tinch fishing in, we need to do it. we got about 15 minutes left till the server goes down. See if I can recognize this spot. Is it right there? Nah, it's right here. Isn't it? and we want more of the cracker base uh, and we can make a ground bait now that has corn in it which I think would probably work a little better for the tench so we'll, we'll get a little more specialized here hopefully next episode again I was planning on doing this with this episode but with servers coming down we don't have much time Oh yeah, somebody in chat was telling me, ah, oh, I didn't change the tips again. Somebody in chat was telling me that they caught a really nice tinch off night crawlers. Um, that might be what I save for next is just going ahead and buying 300 night crawlers before we start worrying about the next upgrade. We'll focus a little bit on leveling up harvesting baits leveling up cooking a little bit more, leveling up ground bait, and uh, getting a few baits uh, in our inventory. Between bream and uh, tench. What I really want to do next episode, though, as sort of a celebration of our new upgraded rig, is go down to this bridge. I, I haven't shown you all here fishing down here yet, and I don't know how hot it is. We just may end up catching a bunch of crucians and gibbles, for all I know, but that tends to be a really hot spot 
uh, and sometimes you can get tench and even eels and stuff overnight so um, I think we'll try that hopefully if not the next episode very soon it might be nice to wait and go down there when we do have the night crawlers but I don't know. I hate to wait too long. I was kind of looking forward to fishing down there soon. That's a spot where if you use the right baits, you can just go down there and f fill your net. You might not be catching the most valuable fish all the time, but it's very active and, uh, and that can be quite fun. So let's make sure that they are in fact out of cheap night crawlers. Oh, they have them here. Never mind. We don't have to wait till we can afford 300. Well, that's great news. I, I, I had seen somebody say at all the low, lower level lakes, I thought they were including Old Berg in that, but apparently not. Man, what a time to catch a trophy bream, eh? If the server wasn't going down, we would go for that. But it is what it is. If I don't get tied up in work stuff, when the server comes back up, we'll try to get another nice video in. We can hope it's a tench. I think it is. Yes. Need to change that quiver tip. We're getting so much more power out of this. It's amazing the power change. Um, we'll go to 42 gram, I think. I'm curious what 56 gram even looks like. Okay. It's going to be a noticeable difference with this setup. We're just using a lot stronger line and leader and then the, the nicer reel. Remember that third line has night crawlers on it. For tench, I think seeing some sort of combination of corn and worm and then, well, you can see what the real tench mix has on it. Bread comes, and we can't use any of that, I don't think. So we'll just use flavors that tend to be successful in catching tench. The sunflower oil doesn't seem to bother them, so we'll use that as an attractant most likely. Have some little night crawlers now. I'd say the likelihood is this might not be a tench. 
Could be, but it'll start coming back to us pretty quick if it's a tinch. Oh, it got off. All right, let's see what we have on night crawlers. Woo! This is a tinge, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice one. My best guess on that fish is that it was a carp of some sort, but it was too early in the in the fight to know for sure. We've gotten too decent tinch. Berg, cheese, and night crawlers. Cheese is getting a lot more action than the night crawlers, but the night crawlers may have a pretty good success rate of getting big fish. That'll be a marker. Ooh yeah. And look at that. Just over a thousand XP per fish. I'm never gonna remember to change that quiver tip, am I? About 3,000 XP on three fish. Level pretty quick if you can catch the right fish. But again, at this level, the problem is not leveling. The problem is silver in terms of what, what you need to think about progressing. We got about five minutes, so let's just give it a couple more minutes and we'll go selfish and uh, in fact we'll just do that so in case the server goes down a couple minutes early fish. Well, that's good to know that night crawlers are uh, available in amounts of 30 per purchase here at Oldberg. Okay, about two minutes left till we start wrapping this video up just so that we're not sitting here twiddling our thumbs as the server crashes.
late in the morning. Tinch bite slowing down. You will occasionally get a tinch throughout the hotter parts of the day, but but what you definitely want to be ready for is early morning and late afternoon, evening for the tinch. And then if you want to combo that with bream, of course, overnight for bream. But All right. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Look at that. Nine pieces of worm. As always, thanks for watching. Sorry this was a little shorter. It's my fault for starting right before the server was coming down, but we still got some things done. Go ahead and purchase this new this new rig. Feels good. We made it. All right. I will see you later on. Thanks again.